Hi friends, so in this video I will discuss about the combustion as well as discrete phase modeling in the ANSYS fluent. So in that, uh, for that scenario I have taken this nitrogen gas and powder uh, coal that will be entering as shown in the figure from the bottom and the oxygen is that has been entering from the other side. So when this oxygen will react with this powder coal then the combustion will happen so but before that also uh, maybe we can take this way that there will be coal that is present or coal particle it which is composed of volatile material right so this volatile material after reaching a certain volatile temperature this volatile material gets vaporized it goes away Right, and there can be some water vapor also present on this coal particle, so that also will evaporate. So, on this volatile material de volatiling as well as this water vapor, uh, the water liquid which will evaporate after these two happens, then we will have the care or the carbon particle which will now react with O2 in order to give CO2, right. So when this carbon reacts with CO2 O2 to give CO2, the carbon diameter will reduce. So initially the diameter composed of H2O plus volatile material, right? And then the care or the carbon. But on reaching this uh, volatility temperature, the H2O as well as the volatile material will move out and the diameter which will remain is only composed of carbon though then the entire mass fraction is of the carbon now as it reacts with oxygen the carbon diameter will decrease because it will react with oxygen to form CO2 so this is the net case what we are trying to look upon so on this all particles will have the probability to hit the wall this is the wall which has given a reflect wall, wall condition so when it hits the wall it will reflect depending on the critical velocity with which it is hitting right so this is the basic uh, uh, phase case of the tutorial I'll just uh, make you walk through the setup what I'll just create in the ANSYS fluid so this is a student version so it has a limitation in mode count so we need to start with the double precision because we are uh, handling multi-species which has a mass fractions like 0 0.25, 0 0.01 so which need to have a precise calculation so in order to handle those type of things we need to have a double precision activated so go with the transient with the gravity as minus 9.81 right and then you need to go to models on the energy You then just go to the species species transport volumetric and particle surface both you need to activate then go to finite rate AD dissipation model go to coal calculator so this is either one step or two step if there is a two step or uh, there is a participation of carbon monoxide also but we have taken one step where there is only carbon dioxide that is directly coming out when reacting of coal with the oxygen the coal density is 1400 what is being taken here and the uh, high temperature volatile yield is 1 so this is the volatile material what you can see so this I'll just apply and click on OK so all the modifications necessary modifications will be happened here so you can see here so this is the mechanism where the volatile material is reacting with oxygen to form CO2, H2 and N2 so, but prior to that we need to create other setup also that is injections we need to create an injection click on the combusting particle so coal particle is a combusting particle what we will take so the devolvalizing species is uh, the coal which is a composed of different other volatile materials so the composition I have already shown it to you so now we go to uh, the wet combustion this wet combustion includes the water liquid fraction that is present on the coal particle 
and now you need to select the surface from which these particles have been injecting n2 plus particle inlet this is the surface from which particle is being injected activate this custom law all this inert vaporization boiling is not required try to give the surface combustion and make this inactive right so these are all the laws that will participate or that are important uh, for the discrete phase model or the particle model in which all these laws will be applied click on okay okay but we have not created uh, uh, yet our carbon or coal particle on the surface of the particle so you can just check here the amount of vaporization temperature is 400 and the volatile component is 55 and the combustible like fraction is 33 maybe we will just change it just to 60 and 40 so the volatile component has a fraction of 40 and the combustion fraction is having of a 60 right and change create row now we can go to species transport activate the particle surface reaction apply okay go to coal particle and this sorry in the particle surface reaction go to edit we will try to add the solid particle one second so just go to materials go to fluid edit and try to add carbon solid Sorry, go to fluid and add carbon solid which is the solid species that will be present after devolatile matter comes out as well as your water exits right this is the final material that will be present after uh, reaching the volatility temperature so see yes close and now you go to coal volatiles go to names and add this carbon solid to the solid species click ok change create and then now you just uh, go to the particle coal particle so you'll get a multiple surface reactions which will happen on the surface of the coal particle click on ok so that is nothing but the cs carbon solid that will be present on the carbon after the volatile temperature is reached click ok so now the setup is completed regarding this now we need to activate another reaction which is a particle surface reaction so now we will activate that also go to total number of reactions as 2 and go to the id 2 keep on particle surface there will be two reactants one is cs another is o2 which forms co2 okay these are the default uh, erigenous states what i am left can just modify according to your interest this is a tutorial purpose so i have keeping these things so okay and after that go to boundary conditions so give the mass flow inlet for the nitrogen so which i have taken as 0.25 and the thermal it is 330 kelvin species is completely nitrogen clip it okay apply close and for the oxygen again go to mass flow inlet Now here, oxygen is coming with 2000 Kelvin and the fraction is completely 1, okay, apply, close and the wall is a reflect condition, so when a particle is hitting the wall with the critical velocity, more than the critical velocity, it will reflect, okay, apply, close, now we will try to initialize with 2000 Kelvin, entire species set, initialize, and try to run with 1e power minus 4 as my time step I am running few time steps and check what happens to the fraction of the volatile fraction and uh, carbon amount that is been uh, going away when it reacts with oxygen all the other particle diameter what is happening everything okay
so I have ran through few time steps so now you can just check out the particle tracks how are they been this is the particle diameter so you can just check particle diameter initially the particle diameter is huge as it progresses down the particle diameter is been reducing because due to the devolatile matter that is coming out and there can be a possibility of reaction uh, when it reacts with O2 much more the particles will turn out or the diameter will reduce and previously I just forgot to mention in this injection I have given this diameter 74 minus 6 and temperature is 330 Kelvin and stop time is this one with this particular flow rate also okay so this is the particle diameter with which uh, the particles started 70 power minus 6 but gradually the diameter reduced due to the escaping of the devolatile matter as well as water vapor fraction and you can see other variables also maybe you can just check out uh, particle liquid mass fraction which will be high initially it is high initially but as it is moving down the fraction is becoming zero liquid is turning into vapor or the water liquid is turning into vapor similarly the volatile mass fraction which will be high initially as the time progresses that also becomes zero because the devolatile in temperature is 400 kelvin right but it is reverse case care mass fraction will increase because initially there are many other fractions but after traveling through few time steps everything left is only care mass fraction okay so these are the particle variables and uh, you can create different scenes also so we can just check the static temperature how exactly it's looking like and you can have a uh, discrete phase variables depending on the concentration here there is a concentration of discrete phase variables so it is having some color but here it's completely blue because there is no discrete phase variables at all Right. Similarly, you can check the TPM CS concentration, which will be here. You can just check high, and as it comes goes forward due to the reaction, it loses its CS concentration. So all these things you can just browse through, and any other requirements you can have this post processing as your tool. Uh, so for any other further information, you can just contact me through mail. I'll I'll help you out. And this is about the powdered particle uh, coal injection into any age stream or, or oxygen stream flows.